If you're interested in demonstrating the effects of radio waves, here's a simple way to get started. In this example, what we have is a simple buzzer. If you look, what we have is an electromagnet, and attached to the electromagnet is a simple piece of spring steel. If I apply a little bit of battery power to it, it forms a little switch right here, just like a relay that's wired properly. And if you look very carefully, you can see a little spark that's created between this piece of spring steel and that piece of copper. So the batteries and the switch operate this little buzzer. And in this circuit, we've attached a coil of wire, which we've calculated the amount of microhenries that this coil of wire would uh, represent in a high RF circuit. And over here, what we have is a couple of tubes of aluminum foil. Uh, one is separated by the other by a piece of paper, but it's variable in that we can move it up and down and change the uh, amount of surface area and the amount of capacitance. And I've checked this, and this goes from about 20 picofarad up to about 900 picofarad in terms of the range. So if you do the calculations and you figure out your microhenries and the amount of capacitance, you can form a tank circuit here, and this tank circuit, or an LC resonant circuit, then can uh, take the spark, which produces a number of frequencies and uh, across a wide bandwidth, and it will actually resonate and send that up this very short antenna. And we can demonstrate that effect by simply uh, turning on a radio. And here I have an AM radio. And I've turned on this radio, and you can see the effect. So what we've done is calculated that this is about 650 or so kilocycles. And if I check my radio, I'm very close to that on the radio is actually sending this, this, this noisy signal. And this uh, persists for about, oh, maybe 20 feet, and so uh, we're still within some um, acceptable FCC rules in terms of uh, avoiding bothering people. But you can do this example uh, simply by either replacing this with a buzzer, an electromagnetic buzzer, or making your own buzzer or changing the variables here and actually changing the frequency, which can show a notch, actually, when you receive it on your AM radio.